dear followers and welcome to a new video and new list of Manhua recommendations. Fans these days love Manhua with overpowered MC. The fundamental topic of many stories focuses on a character who is outrageously powerful. The primary character who is incredibly strong easily beats their opponent. Today's list consists of the top 10 new Manhuas with overpowered main character to dive in a new story and engage your brain with thrilling fight scenes. They have the capability to murder anybody in an instant or to destroy the entire world at any time. Pick your favorite from this list and follow the overpowered MC on his adventure. Starting with number 10 on the list, Return of the SSS Class Ranker. Loken was the virtual reality video game The Lord's King of Violence reigning supreme. An enemy guild's assassination order required him to lose whatever. To his awe the next time he awoke he had traveled back in time three years. He's going to demolish them all this time. A fresh experience begins as Rokan who has actually taken a trip back in time viciously climbs his way back to the top. This VR new Manhua is actually on Fracture. He is resurrected for no apparent factor since the main character takes the VR video game too seriously. He grinds a lot in order to get subdued faster. He has a pretty cool savage kind demeanor. The story of this Manhua is novel however the execution of the story is exceptional. The art in this Manhua is exceptional and the fight sequences are generally pleasing. If you enjoy the Vermo genre this is a must try. Moving to the ninth Manhua on the list. The Lazy Swordmaster. Riley Ifieta was a hero who conquered the satanic force ruler in a previous life. Though he won his fights the psychological tensions of fighting all the time caught up with him. Riley wanted to end up being the house of Ifieta's lazy swordsman after rebirth in a strong household that kept their name via swordsmanship and do not have the power to sustain his leisurely presence but the route he traveled was never easy. He'll have to choose whether to display his teeth or continue sleeping. After killing his realm's devil king the primary character is sent to another fantasy world. He has superhuman sword abilities however he keeps them hidden from everyone and attempts to live a regular life. This Manhua has a pretty great narrative. The art is wonderful and the fight sequences are really perfectly portrayed. The characters are well written and they feel like they belong in this environment. The primary character has a truly charming disposition. When required he is entirely callous. Moving to the 8th Manhua of this list, Grand Warlock Streamer. In a VR MMO game the main character has a high-leveled mage character. Now he wants to access his account but his DNA has altered and the only method to gain access to it is through a DNA check. He loses his account and produces a new one but this time he gets an extremely unusual class that only a few individuals in the world have and he can see covert items and information about objects and missions in the video game. This is overall an excellent VR MMO new Manhua with overpowered MC. There are several that are similar and most of them are good. The art is great and while there are just a couple of characters each one has a distinct personality. The plot is also excellent and the Manhua is likewise recommended for fans of RPG video games. Moving to the seventh spot on the list, plus 99 reinforced wooden stick. This new Manhua is about the main character's experience with the Vermo game Chrono Life. One day tired of all of the foolishness he needs to tolerate as a novice he begins enhancing his fundamental wooden stick and prospers in enhancing it as much as 99 making it the strongest weapon in the whole game. He then enters in search of those who overlooked him with a stick. From the beginning the main character is overpowered. The artwork is excellent. The main character is the sort that goes with the flow. The world building is enormous and there are several tricks that appear to be rather interesting. This Manhua is created for those who enjoy overpowered main characters. Moving to the sixth Manhua on the list, Chronicles of the Martial Gods Return. The protagonist in this Manhua is the most powerful Gosu in the Murum realm. He assassinated several other martial artists. Seven powerful martial artists united to encase the main character in ice. He was freed from his ice jail after 1000 years and many things have altered in him throughout those years. He's becoming more cheerful and he embraces a child who is going to pass away and tries to raise her to the best of his ability. This Manhua is great. From the beginning the primary character is overpowered. His disposition is likewise captivating and he never has pity on his enemies. This Manhua's art is good and the world building is likewise exceptionally great. If you desire a humorous ludicrous story about the strongest male in history adopting a child and working with a criminal as a work slave then fixing the areas and continents problems on the side you know this Manhua is for you. Moving to the fifth spot on the list, The Esper's Game. Seo Moon Yo was the world's biggest superhuman and after conserving mankind he compromised himself. He goes back to a now peaceful world 17 years later on and the superhuman sport undergoes seismic improvement. The adventure of a modern fantasy sports action starts right now. Even for a virtual reality man where the general narrative of it is rather unusual. 
The primary character is overpowered from the start and he is likewise very badass. The art is stunning and the action sequences are wonderfully represented. If you desire a good hunter type esports VR manhua with strong action and a solid story then give this a go. Moving to the fourth spot on the list, the slumbering ranker. Lee Yun Sung becomes one powerful gamer after sleeping for an overall 10,000 hours with an idea the hottest online game around. He's been assigned to a special secret class with a range of unusual skills among which enables him to battle while sleeping. He's slowly working his method to the top and everybody from the developers to the other players is remembering this unusual novice. This manhua is for the reader who values a decent story and characters with a sense of humor. The author recognizes that an irony is an excellent approach to communicating comedy. The general idea is likewise amusing specifically a video game in which the MC experiences narcolepsy. Overall the plot is relatively decent for a new manhua with games. The art is wonderful and the fight scenes are entertaining. Give it a try and you might enjoy it. Moving to the third manhua on the list, the world after the fall. When mysterious towers sprout throughout the planet calling animals that eat people they are given a choice. On the verge of death they can make use of a regression stone to travel back in time for a second chance. This choice lands them in various timelines and puts them in danger for the rest of their lives. The plot is a totally fresh spin on the fantasy tower awakener style category. It has individuality and it crosses many genres while preserving originality in the series. Moreover it evokes the reader's emotions and this series may introduce an entirely brand new genre. The artist and authors are geniuses for developing an entirely new realm of dreams and the series has numerous beasts that are entirely initial yet affected by folklore. Overall this series is a must read for its amazing uniqueness. The plot combined numerous genres into one and with the author's assistance produced an entire brand new dream world of appeal and terror. Moving to the second manhua on the list, Extraordinary Descent Genius. Both immortals and shapeshifters are different sorts of hunters and our main character is a cross in between the two. He possesses two skills making him powerful. He wants to be a hunter and explore dungeons to build a reputation for himself. He begins special preparation for the hunter's exam which includes walking through a field of knives and other strange activities. This manhua is rather great in regards to world building and character development. The relationship between the primary character and his family is quite wholesome. He has a decent personality and he ends up being overpowered soon. Side characters are likewise written well and the art is decent but not that much great however it gets a bit better later. There is no action in it a minimum of in the meantime however the whole drama thing is actually wholesome and it never gets boring. Read this new manhua for a breath of fresh air. Reaching the first spot on the list existence. This was the last incarnation of a creature who had actually lived tens of countless reincarnations and lifetimes. He was born as a human however had the capabilities of every other life form he had actually ever been. This new manhua depicts a child honoring his commitments to his mom along with all that is wrong with humanity. This story has a psychological effect. The chasm in between our protagonist Lee Jane and humanity is portrayed on such a gray scale that you never know what will happen. It constantly leaves you wondering where the plot is going to go. The relationships between him and the people he is beginning to care about are extremely wholesome however they likewise have a sinister undertone. The sense that something dreadful is going to happen. The author manages to make you feel connected to and emotionally engaged in every character you're expected to be. Overall this manhua is quite amusing. It represents both the unfavorable and good parts of humankind. It has plenty of emotions and a well-developed ensemble of individuals. The tale is initial and the plot is carried out flawlessly. The artwork is tidy and incredibly great. Read this new manhua if you want an emotional roller coaster flight. That's all we got for today. If you discover your next read on this list give us a thumbs up and share the video with your friends. Also give us your suggestions in the comment section below since it's helping us to give you more recommendations as well as present to you better content every time. And remember to press the red button for more videos in the near future. Thank you for your time. We'll talk again soon.